What is up guys, it's Peyton here from Level 9 Gaming and I'm back with some FIFA 17 career mode Southampton. That is the team we are doing. I said that really weirdly, but it's okay. It's all gonna be okay. So uh, last episode, let's uh, do a recap real quick I suppose. We played three games. We played in the EuroLeague against Lyle. 1-1-0. Uh, one, one, Lost 1-0, I'm sorry. Because I played horribly. I remember that now. Norwich, we won 1-0 in the EFL Cup. And of course we drew with Arsenal. 1-1. One, one. I was very happy about that because it's a draw against Arsenal. And the way my team has been playing, and by that meaning the way I've been playing with my team, awful. Now we've got West Ham, Swansea, and Aberdeen all in the course of five days in this wonderful episode. I'm not excited about this. Like, my players are going to be dead from this game. That's the only thing I don't like about the, uh, FIFA is, like, it always does this. But, uh, interesting thing that happened. I can manage hungry, guys! Yay! Right? No? Not yay? Oh. Well, I mean... Yeah. So I am gonna reject this offer because I just don't really want to manage hungry. At all. No part of me wants to. So, I'm just not going to do that. If the right offer comes up for some kind of team, <clears throat> America, or England, or any bigger team like that, just not hungry, man. Just not hungry. Anyway, we are about to play our match against West Ham United here. Away, sadly, but at the same time, not sadly, because, you know, they do have the sick new London Stadium. It looks so good in this game, man. I love it. Love it so much. So, uh, we are going to... Oh, man. <laughs> We are going to have to play with our backups, and the way they've been playing, I'm not excited about that. Alright, so I did mess with it a little bit, I messed with some of the instructions, so I'm not going to go over that too much, but uh, I also put in Fraser Forcer over Alex McCarthy because, yes, I'm playing with the secondary team, but, you know, just for that little bit of hope that we won't get scored on, I'm going to play Forcer in this one with the bad defense. Maybe he'll just be a little bit better. Well, not bad defense. I mean, Yoshida plays pretty solidly usually, and Bertrand is a really good player, obviously. But other than that, you know. So just for that little extra bit of security, I'm playing Forster here, then McCarthy, and I'll play Forster again, probably. And, yeah, we're going to do that. But other than that, nothing much else changed. Let's get into the match. And we're in. I love these graphics, man. Everybody says it, but it's true. They're so cool this year, man. I love the new EFL graphics for this season. And I'm glad they got him in the game finally. It took them a while, but they have him now. And everyone's happy. Yay. So let's get into the match. Tenth place. Not doing so hot right now. Uh, two wins, two draws. Still zero losses. That's good. That's, that's good. So I'll take that. Hopefully we can get up there with some more wins today. We'll do our best. Let's get this one started, shall we? So they're already drying up the side out now. Oh no! Oh! Lanzini, don't do this to me, man. Oh my gosh. Guys, this is not good. This is very not good. They're so much better than me. Get it. Get it, Forster. Okay, don't. Get it. That's, that's, I'm honest. Whatever. Oh no, it's a corner, though. Okay, so they do have a, they do have a corner here. <laughs> We've got it. You, that's yours, Forster. That's yours. Yes. Good claim. Good claim. They're in, they're up here again. No. Oh my gosh. I would just like to say opening thoughts on West Ham for this game. Lanzini is too good in this game. He's destroying me. I know he wasn't the one with the ball in that particular instance, but oh my gosh. And another cross. Lanzini, stop. Lanz if someone scores in this game against me, it will be Lanzini. I can almost guarantee it. Almost. I told you! Oh! Oh my gosh, he hit crossbar. That is so lucky. I didn't see that guy, but oh, Pulisic actually won that header? What? No, Gabbiadini! What is that touch? Gabbiadini, one of the best players on the team by overall rating, of course, with one of the worst touches ever. That's halftime. No, no real big chances for me. Several big chances for them. 
Mino Gabbiadini had one big, big chance for me, and he had the worst touch ever that I've seen an 80 overall player take. Like, it was sad. So uh, we're going to have to hope that we step it up a little bit in the second half, and let's, get, let's win a game. It would be really, really nice. Antonio going up this side again. He's done that a lot in this game. And Bertrand just pulls him down. Stop pulling him down. You can give him a little pull, but don't do that. It's just giving him free kicks. And Yoshida with a good clearance. And Hoshberg going to send it over the top to Rodriguez here. who has it on the outside. Cuts back. And cross it. And Gabitini. Oh, Forster. Oh, great job, great job. Time for some power subs. I mean, not as tired as usual, but tired all the same. Gabbiadini's gonna go down then because he's just been awful at striker, but he's not tired, so I'm gonna take advantage of that fact. Uh, Hodgeberg's gonna have to suffer, as will that guy. Wait, what am I doing? I'm gonna put Rodriguez over here, Tadic up there, and I'm meant to leave in Hodgeberg. So we're putting in Classy, Hostin, Tadic, and we'll go with that. And Forsters, that is his. Do not touch it. So just roll it out nice and smooth. And let Tadic run with it because we all know how fast, blazing speeds he can get, man. He's crazy. Okay, Rodriguez with an actually. I'm gonna be so mad if he misses this. Yes, Rodriguez! Yes! What a dribble! Oh my gosh, Rodriguez just went beast. Wow. That was an amazing play by Jay Rodriguez. Wonderful dribble. Gets around everyone. They, I don't know what their defense was doing. And he just slots it home into the bottom right. A very cool collected shot. Oh, wow, guys. So a very, very late, hopefully, winner. And I may pull the go ultra defensive or park the bus and... Wait and win strategy. <laughs> and Forster claims that. And that's game. Yes. Great job with the late score from Jay Rodriguez. He seems to turn up whenever I need him, man. A great play by him. Shaking the hand of the other manager and walking away. That's me. There's Gardos. He played pretty decently today, to be honest. And I am really happy with this result because I really thought we were going to lose there. This is my reserves team, technically. Um, I would say they're of about equal skills as starters almost, except a couple odds in, in this, as far as suit certain players go here and there. But a great play by Rodriguez, getting that 88th minute goal just at the end, man. What a great job by him. And then we were able to hold on for the last couple of minutes of defense. Great job, team. And there's London Stadium in all of its beauty as the game ends. All right, so um, you can see... <laughs> We didn't really deserve this goal, to be honest, or this win, to be honest, because we had more possession, we had about equal tackles, we had more fouls, our shot accuracy was 100%, though, we got two out of two shots, we should have had more, because, again, Manolo gave me his touch on that one play, <laughs> but uh, we had better pass accuracy, it looks like we were worse than we were, I just didn't get a lot of shots off, because they kept getting stolen up towards the box, but as far as the game goes, I really, I think it should have been a draw, if anything, if not a win for them, because Lanzini had so many shots that should have gone in. As you can see right there, a couple of replays of them. But um, first game, successful. Quick update, guys. That win got us all the way up to fifth place from 10th place. Wonderful job. And we've got a game in hand on Chelsea, Spurs, Manchester City, Liverpool, Everton, all these teams. Everybody except me, Swansea City, and West Brom. Stoke, and then the three teams in the relegation zone, which are all doing horribly. But um, honestly... What a job. And can we talk about some Middlesbrough 5-0-1. Oh, Calm down, guys. Calm down. Anyway, guys. Um, but let's hope we can keep this run of form going and kind of stay up here-ish. That'd be nice. That'd be nice. Anyway, on to the next game against Swansea. All right. So we are playing our starting lineup in this game, except for one. And then, uh, that is Alex McCarthy in goal instead of Fraser Forster because Fraser Forster played in the last game. Played so well, I might add. But we do play Swansea City now with Alex McCarthy in goal. And he's honestly been pretty good in the games I've played in him. So I'm not too worried. Plus, we have Van Dyke and Caceres in the middle. And Luke Shaw and Cedric and all these guys. So I'm excited to play this one. Let's get into it. 
Here we are in a game number two of the episode Southampton Swansea City at St. Mary's Stadium, our home ground. So excited to play this one with the starting lineup. Yay! Because they play so much better. Uh, just get into this one, getting ready. All the players warmed up, they're stepping up. We're going to take the kickoff. There's the referee. And let's get into this one, shall we? And here we go. All right, we have Befell in the box. Try to take a shot, but Rengal does a good job sliding in and deflecting that one. Let's see if we can get something on the header here with Virgil van Dijk. Yeah, nope. Narsing heads it out of bound. It will be another corner for us, though. Let's do a crowd the keeper, put it up here, kind of, and send it in with Pastore. And long! Ah, oh, great shot attempt there, but Fabianski was there and ready. Easy save for him. So we have drawn a foul here, a little bit outside the box. I'm uh, probably going to try and take a shot with the free kick. I don't know if I have any really good free kickers on the team, to be fair. Uh, he does get yellow carded, Olsen. So that's good. Yellow card for him. And let's see exactly where this shot is. Javier Pastore. I think this is makeable. Let's give it a little power to it. Put some co. Oh, gosh, that was... That was terrible, and it does look like Davis has picked up a slight injury, which I really can't afford. I don't have any squad depth whatsoever. We have it with Fur here on the outside of the box, driving in, could pass it. He does to Narsing. Narsing, thinking about what to do with it here, gives it to Rangel. Back to Cork, and this is getting kind of annoying and confusing. Olsen has it. And he's going to give it to Borsha. And a shot is taken, but deflected by Virgil. Never mind. I don't know why it flashed his name if he didn't touch it. All right, so it does look like Davis has gotten uh, his injury to go away. Just ran it off a little bit. I'm sure he's fine. Because uh, so, the injury thing is gone. So that's that makes me feel a little bit better. There's Luke Shaw. That would be a good time to make an appearance, dude. And Ben, or, because bleh, 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 bleh. they both have the same hairstyle. It hurts. Give it up to Long. Let's see what we can do with him on fire. A couple episodes ago. Wasn't quite as good in the last episode, but he did his job, I suppose. And foul. Let's take a shot! Oh, the crossbar! Come on, send it back in! Oh, guys, come on. We gotta get this goal. This is, this is the moment! This is the moment! Yes, Buffal gets it back and puts it in the goal! Yes! The first chance hits the crossbar. Many confusing things happen. Gets it back, puts it in the goal. Huge goal for us, 1-0 just before halftime. And let's hope we can continue off of this. That is halftime, guys. First half went well there towards the end, especially as we were able to find that back of the net. 1-0, we are leading so far. All right, second half getting started, kicking off, getting it done quick, and let's go. And Davis has it outside the box here. Cross it in, cross it in again, and... ah. Oh. Gotta win those, man. And Shane Long has it now, and let's just rip it! Oh, that was a horrible shot attempt. Oh, wow! Decided to go ahead and take a shot with uh, Redmond there. And Fabianski with a very nice save. What have he actually been able to find in that something right there? Bad angle to take the shot from, to be fair, but just wanted to see what happens. I have no regrets. Alright, so run near post here. And cross it, and Olsen wins it. And, uh, oh, hey, came back to Virgil here. Definitely not about to take a shot with him, but I can use him to find a better player to take a shot. Shane Long, header on the cross from, oh my gosh, from Javier Pastore. Run up to the camera, celebrate. Yes, Shane Long with another big goal. 2-0 against Swansea City, guys. I'm actually not losing horribly for once. Or just winning by 1-0 in a Premier League match. What a cross, what a header, what a play in general. And this game is going really well. Alright, oh, a big cross up to Buffal here. And Buffal could be in for another shot. And, oh no, Olsen wins that. Wow, that was a really good sliding tackle from him there. Now I'm going to send it in for low. Olsen wins that. But we got another cross here. And we're gonna do run near post and just send it in this general area. And, oh, Fire wins that. Another corner. Oh boy, lots of corners happening here. Um, run near post. 
Put it in that general area. Oh my, please don't go out for another corner. No, cross it in though. Don't, ha I didn't mean hand it to the other team. It's not what I meant. And Redmond is in the box here. And Pastore, or Pas Pastore takes a shot, but it's a good save by Fabianski yet again. And we're really putting pressure on him now. Oh, Long wins it back immediately. And we have it up to Davis here, who's running low on stamina. Send it to him. And, oh, I was hoping someone would make a bit of a run. Oh, Redmond. And he sends it right at Fabianski. I'm going to sub in some players. going to put in uh, Classy for Bezic, who's looking pretty tired. Uh, give Shane Long a break, I suppose. He's earned it uh, by putting in Shane Austin. And we'll put in Tadic at cin left center mid. Give Pastore a break. He's looking pretty tired. So they're putting a little pressure on us here at the end, but at the same time, not really. We're kind of winning everything. I haven't even gotten to put in my subs yet. And, oh, Kingsley tries and fails. Finally, in the 90th minute, my subs have come on. It's taken that long for it to go out. I was literally commentating that my subs just came on, and they've scored. Well, rip clean sheet, but I think it's too late for a comeback, to be fair. So I'm not going to worry about that too much, to be honest. And that's game, guys. A great job by our squad. Two to one. Big win for us. We did concede there late, but I mean, they were probably on like full out attacking. I was on defensive, but I mean, I'm not too concerned about it. We did good. I wish we could have held on to the clean sheet, but sadly, we weren't able to do that. But uh, the game overall went really well. Two to one. Two really nice goals. And that went really, really well for us. As you can see, we had 12 shots, 9 on target, they had 4-2 on target. We deserved this win. Period, said, and done. So next up, we have our match in the EuroLeague. Of course, last episode, we lost to Lyle or Lille or however you say that. They could throw up there at three points in the group. The other two teams tied, and we have Aberdeen. So let's hope this goes well. So we are going to have to go into this one with the backups. There's still rather tired backups at that. Um, because they're still tired from a couple games ago. I have no squad depth, so there's just nothing I can do about it. They're just going to have to play a little bit tired. Other than Austin, who I'm putting in at striker. Uh, Rodriguez actually was fully ready. I put him over on the right wing. Tadish on the left wing. Uh, Classy is at central defensive mid. Forster is in goal. And I think that about says it. So let's get into this one. Here we go into this one. Our second game in the EuroLeague playing against Aberdeen from Scotland. And uh, let's get this one underway. I'm excited to play this one. Hopefully we can pull off a win this time. We really need a win. Um, I, I believe in us, you know. The, the yep, 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 English. Let's do this. So we're about to get kicked off. Here we go. And we are off. The game has begun. All right, already. Jen Rodriguez with a big chance. Oh, how have you skied that? Oh, no. I think the keeper got a touch on it. Never mind. Um, let's see, yeah, teacher got, or t teacher, the goalkeeper definitely got an arm on that. Did he not? Did Rodriguez just sky that one? So it's actually gone right under the keeper's arm. I thought it went, I thought it hit him. So it hasn't hit him and it's a goal kick, that stinks. Uh, they might be through here, they are in the box. Oh, this is scary. Right now they got a guy right outside the box, but Hosberg does a great job blocking that one. He's played a lot better in this episode. I don't know what's gotten into him, but I hope he keeps playing like this. And Hosberg takes a shot, and that was a good shot, but he couldn't make it. Can Austin? Nope. Got deflected, and Reynolds sends it out. Our throw in. Oh, they actually had a shot there. Wasn't expecting that. All right, so they have a corner now after that save by Forster. And Forster grabs that. Knew it. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna run with Forster, I guess. Bye, guys. Since no one on my team wants to make a run, I'll just do it with Forster. It's fine. Oh, Charlie Austin, come on. Finish that, man. Gotta finish that. Oh, you can't call a whistle on them. And you can, but man, first half not going well, guys. I can't play in the Euro League apparently. I don't know why. All right, Rodriguez has it going up the side. Cross it in. 
Cross it in. Cross it in. Dang it. And oh, beautiful Hodgeberg. Come on, man. And oh, Rodriguez. Every episode, it just seems like we have one guy that steps up. And Jay Rodriguez is most certainly that guy this episode. What? Just beautiful, man. Just beautiful. Got open, made the run, and a nice shot. Oh, Tadic has a chance! Ah, oh, but Lewis with a good save there. And let's see if we can get anything off this corner. Tadic sends it in, and Yoshida! Hits the crossbar, and it gets cleared by conceding, and Gardos is not taking a shot for me. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. And Ward-Prowse has it. Let's pass it over here to Austin, who's going to take a shot, and Lewis with another good save. Oh, Charlie Austin makes a huge play here. Oh, and maybe Tadic can get there. Oh, he's so slow. Tadic the snail, or Tadic the turtle. Sorry, that was his name. That's the name I have created for you, Tadich. Tadich the Turtle. It's got to be ending soon. It's almost over. And there it is. We pull off a win. 1-0. Good job, team. I'm very happy about this. And uh, that's pretty much going to conclude this episode. As you can see, I did really control this game. I definitely deserve the win here as well. Got to work on my finishing, man, because some of my shots, they're just not going in at all. All right, guys, so we do have a monthly report on our scouting. So let's see if we can get anything here. <gasps> yes, Harvey Hall. Absolutely auto adjust budgets and sign player. That right there, that was huge. This guy might already be 71 overall. His potential 64 to 68. I'm not going to sign Lewis Wilson yet because I'm just not sure. You, 40 to 52 overall now. That's a lot to train up, and I don't think I'm going to do that. 54 to 52 for a 68 to 92. Uh, I think I'm going to scroll out for another month. Uh, this guy is a no-go. This guy is a no-go. 34 to 44. That would take forever to train him. Oh, gosh. Oh, his potential is horrible. And his potential isn't quite good enough for me. So um, these two, we're going to leave on the list for another month. And let's go look at what we have right now already in two players, both 15. One is a goalkeeper, already 62 overall. And look at that potential, man. 87 to 94. Callum Bennett is an absolute star, like, er, in the making. He will be one day. And then 10 overalls down. You have overall 52, 75 to 94. We don't know his exact potential possibilities yet, but uh, hopefully we'll get another good update on the next month and we'll know exactly how good his potential will be. Hopefully it will be up in that range, but you never know. Oh, Pulisic went up another rating. He's 78 overall. Wow, he's going quickly. Hopefully he'll eventually actually start playing well and earn a starting spot because Redmond hasn't been playing well either but uh, Pulisic, he's just done nothing to really earn that starting spot yet. Did Redmond go up and overall as well? I should have been paying attention to him too, but I wasn't. Anyway guys, I'm going to end this episode off here. Next episode we will be looking at a game against Leicester, Burnley, and Krasnodar in the EuroLeague. So that'll be fun. Those are the three games we'll look forward to in the next episode. So stay tuned for that one coming out soon. And uh, I do hope you guys have all enjoyed. If you have, don't forget to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that little notification bell so you get notifications when new videos come out. And I will see all you guys later. Uh, goodbye.